And that breaking news comes from Lincoln. A bill targeting student athletes based on their gender fails to advance. Thank you for joining us. I'm Quinicia Fraser. It's the second year in a row that Senator Kathleen Cowles' proposed Sports and Spaces Act has failed. And after four hours of debate, it's dead again. KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McLoon is live at the Capitol with the breaking details. Alex? Bill Quinicia, the bill dead for now, but expected to return next year. Parents here at the Capitol today say that lawmakers should be focused on other issues like property taxes and the teacher shortage. Parents standing up for their kids embrace lawmakers who blocked a last second shot at separating high school students on the field and in bathrooms and locker rooms. The kids are beleaguered after last year and all they want to do is finish the school year in peace. Republican lawmakers back the bill writer Senator Kathleen Kouth of Miller who plans to bring it back next session. LB 575, the Sports and Spaces Bill, is designed to provide for the protection of the fairness and integrity in girls sports. Do you hear yourself? Senator Megan Hunt teaming up with Democrats who flagged the bill as a legal framework for discrimination. Bills like LB 575 are not needed to protect kids. There are no findings of a need to address privacy violations in Nebraska. You don't close the gate after the cattle are out. Some lawmakers say Nebraska School Activities Association guidelines are ahead of the problem and a uniform approach. It's seen less than 10 students use its gender participation policy since 2016. Eligibility is based on gender on a birth certificate. Girls can play on boys teams, but boys aren't allowed to play girls sports or on girls teams when there is no corresponding sport. Each member school will determine what they think their criteria should be. So we could literally have a thousand different ways that is the transgender is identified. NSAA's Gender Identity Eligibility Committee approves trans students who want to take the field, requiring a notice to their school and application to the NSAA, which reviews and approves requests to play. Trained medical experts make up the group. Students and families write statements and provide medical records, then are approved or denied. Ralston Senator Merv Reapy shared the rules on the debate floor. Students who are transgender and their families do not seek attention, but rather accommodation. The Sports and Spaces bill coming up two votes short. We've got a lot of other problems to consider. Why beat up on trans kids at the last minute? Opposing lawmakers say this bill would only be enforced if parents decide to sue schools, but this bill running out of time this session. Live in Lincoln, Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7.